Hello Virgo, welcome to your mid-January reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Sun, Moon. <laughs> Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you this month or the rest of this month. Your um, oracle card is day and night and it's the first card in the deck. I will have to consult the book to give you your translation but let me grab a Moonology real quick. Now this reading will hold true from the 15th to the 31st of uh, this month and it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have here. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. All right, let me grab the book and decipher this oracle for you. It says, uncertainty, fear, worries, decisions to be made, follow your instincts. The girl we see on this card is holding the sun in her hands while the moon is at her back. She looks uncertain as if she has a question in mind but does not know the answer. What is she thinking about? Is she afraid of the answer or the inward process to find it? Many of our, many of us struggle with making decisions but where there is shadow there is also light. After a dark night, there is always the light of the morning sun, warming the path we have chosen. This card reminds us that we already hold all the answers in our hands. We should trust our inner judgment and know we will be able to handle any situation. This is that two of pentacles energy for me. Um, and I feel like um, there is some kind of struggle here. There's a juggle here that you are dealing with. It is a decision that... Uh, you are having trouble making we'll see what this could be regarding work through your fears kind of makes sense right now maybe there is a fear because the moon eventually represents fear of the unknown so maybe there is a fear that is preventing you from making a decision let's see i will be looking at your general energy love as well as career let's get three cards oh oh wow all right i was gonna say you're showing up to your own reading with the hermit card uh we do have the devil here and we do have the three of cups let's see um i will be pulling clarifiers but i want to pull all your main cards first let's get you three cards for career we have the queen of wands the king of pentacles and the queen of swords wow that's a lot of court cards for career i wouldn't um, expect anything else from you you guys are one of the hardest workers in the zodiac um, so I see that you are in your power, but there are a lot of people here, a lot of people involved. Let's see, let's get you three cards for love. Mm, two of swords, there's that indecision. Okay, all right, I'll take all of them. Two of swords, ten of wands, eight of wands, and the seven of wands. Mm -hmm. Lots of wands happening. I will need clarifiers most definitely. All right, Virgo. In your general energy with the hermit, uh, I feel like you've had to go within to seek wisdom. That there has been a period of inner reflection because with the devil card, something is not uh, not what it seemed. That's what I'm getting. I feel like something seemed great and wonderful, but it just turned out to be toxic. Or this was something that uh, brought out the worst in you. That's what I'm getting. Let me clarify. Why is the hermit here, the empress? Going within to realize your worth. The son of swords, which is the knight of swords maybe some kind of truth came to light that made you realize this oh the ten of cups mm -hmm. let me get bridging energies because that's a massive leap right here <laughs> i said massive leap and we have the fool how hilarious is that okay mm page of pentacles 
Virgo, I don't know if this is related to <clears throat> work or love for you, but I feel like whatever it is that came to light, it kind of paved a way, a path to something even better. It's like I always say, you need to pluck out the weeds to make room for flowers to grow. I feel like you did pluck out those weeds and you did them very swiftly. You weeded out your garden very, very swiftly. You may have taken a little bit of a step back to process whatever this was, but you realized your worth with the Empress. Now, there's no gender in tarot, just take the energy with you. And once you realized your worth, there was a conversation that transpired. And if this hasn't happened yet, I feel that it will. And I feel that it needs to happen because the devil is that energy of going round and round in circles of being in a very re repetitive pattern that is very, very unhealthy and toxic for you. It's that quote always comes to mind by Einstein. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and, ex and expecting a different result. It's like, being controlled you're being puppeted by by a thought or a person or a pattern and you're not being able to break out of it but i feel like with the knight of swords either there's a conversation or an epiphany that comes about that helps you break out of this pattern and what what that leads to is the three of cups and the ten of cups finding your soul tribe finding people or a person or even a company, uh, take it how it resonates, or colleagues who speak the same language as you. And I don't mean literal language. I mean, it very well could be, but I mean your soul language, your love language, your wo work language, your work ethic, how you conduct yourself. And it may take baby steps because the page of pentacles is someone who is a student, someone who wants to make that effort to learn, someone who isn't a master at his or her craft but is willing to take that leap of faith with with the fool card we will see what this is regarding um, let's get to career why is the king of pentacles here the six of cups something in the past that brought about the two of swords again um, something or someone from the past who brought about a lot of stability for you and with the, you remember I said with the uh, Knight of Swords, it's like you're cutting something out with a conversation. We have the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords here. Maybe you're in that process of making that decision. And that's why we have the Day and Night Oracle here. Maybe you know that there is something that needs to be cut out, but you're not really being able to muster up the strength to actually make that decision. Whether, again, this is uh, a job or it is a colleague or a boss, whatever. Take it how it resonates. Or maybe it's just a project that you don't resonate with anymore. Um, Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And the Page of Wands. Um, Virgo, I feel like, firstly, the Queen of Swords energy is not sitting very well with you. Let me be very honest with you. Something from the past uh, brought about a lot of stability and happiness for you, okay? There was a lot of generosity, equal give and take, but something transpired that put you in your head. And I feel like there was a lot of overthinking about how to um, overcome this challenge. I feel once you start focusing on what you are passionate about with the Queen of Wands, once you realize what it is that actually sets your soul on fire, that is when that decision will be easier to make. If whatever this is from the past is not bringing you any kind of happiness anymore and is just bringing about a sense of fear and worry to you, I feel like if you sit in that two of swords energy of I can't make this decision, the universe will make it for you. Because the Wheel of Fortune is something that the universe orchestrates. It, it, is, uh, it is a card of divine timing. So it's not, like you, it's not anything that you can control. If the universe feels like you're in that stagnating energy and you're not being able to move left or right, the universe will create um, a dynamic where it's, you're going to be pushed to make that decision no matter what.
that's what I'm getting here. So what I would recommend here is use your head, of course, with the queen of swords, use your logic, use your mind. But at the same time, ask yourself what it is that you truly, truly desire. What is that path that brings that bounce in your step, that brings you that vitality and that energy? And the Knight of Pentacles. And don't be afraid to take it slow. You know, this is not something, all right, so if the, you need to cut something out of your life, I get it. And, you know, being as diplomatic as you are, Virgo, um, it's very difficult for you to be cutting as a person. You know, even though your ruler is Mercury, you are not very, um, you're not really an air sign. You're Earth. You are grounded in the Earth, right? So it's all right for you to take baby steps, like I said earlier take those baby steps and slow and steady wins the race Virgo never forget that if you are uncomfortable making this decision immediately take your time it's all right I know I said that the universe will come in and um, do what it has to do but I feel like keeping your personality in mind and keeping how ground keeping in mind how grounded you are as an individual uh, this isn't going to be as sharp as um, we think, you know, Mercury is going retrograde. And in fact, it's gone retrograde today. I'm recording this on the 14th. So <clears throat> important decisions, <clears throat> important conversations need to be put on the back burner for now. And I feel like this wheel of fortune right here is going to help you bring about this change when it is the right time for you. Mercury uh, stations direct on the 3rd of Feb. So whatever this is, I would say maybe take this little bit of time to stay in that hermit mode, to work on your pentacles and your abundance with the Empress here and make that call in the first week of Feb. This is not going to resonate for everyone, but I'm getting this strong feeling of you need to uh, filter out people. In, in your work life and filter out, I don't know, energies. Okay, let's get to love. Why is the two of swords here? Eight of cups. Again, I feel like this day and night is for both, both, both these uh, departments. Should I walk away? Should I not walk away? But I'm very burdened. What should I do? Why is the ten of wands here? Judgment. Wow, all right. Venus is retrograde as well. So this isn't surprising me. And there we go, the lovers. Clarify the seven of wands, please. The death card. Wow, that's some heavy, heavy, heavy energy, Virgo. It's blowing my mind a little bit. Queen of Pentacles. And the two of wands again. Hmm, lots of twos, ace of pentacles. Okay, I like this. I do. All right. Eight of cups, walking away from indecision, the two of swords. The ten of wands is telling me that something from the past that was a burden is coming back. But... It's coming back with a renewed energy because we have the two of wands right on, right on top of this, which tells me that this is an energy of leaving something uh, in the past and starting something new, putting an intention towards something new. And with the queen of pentacles, she's one of my favorite queens. It's She's a very grounded queen. And again, there's no gender in tarot. Take the energy. I feel like whatever this was, whatever this burden was, it is being that energy is transmuting and transforming into something wonderful and stable for you. We have the eight of wands and the lovers, which is telling me either there's travel involved to see this person or maybe they're coming to see you. You're going to see them. 
or there is just a lot of communication back and forth communication a lot of love and a lot of uh, declaration of love happening here with the seven of wands here i can see this two ways either you were very defensive uh, when it came to uh, accepting this union again or they were but with the death card right on top of that and the ace of pentacles crossing it i feel like that defensiveness and that wall that block is going to dissolve there's there's a more free flowing energy here between the two of you and with the ace of pentacles there's a beautiful new beginning a stable new beginning i think this person is coming in with a renewed energy uh and it's not going to feel like a burden anymore it's going to be and again venus is still in retrograde and mercury goes retrograde today if there are any important conversations that need to be had i would suggest putting them on the back burner for now venus goes direct on the 29th of january and like i said mercury goes direct on the 3rd of february so things are going to become a whole lot clearer if anything is seeming like a burden right now it's not going to last too long that's what retrogrades do retrogrades make us reevaluate rethink reassess and revise relationships so use this time to reflect like i told you and what isn't serving you whatever energy isn't serving you once you start disregarding that and cutting it out of your life is when renewed energy can come in your way weeding out again i've made you a gardener virgo i, I think that's what i'm going to title this reading <laughs> but it's quite lovely the 3 of cups and the 10 of cups again is catching my eye whatever this devil energy was i feel like it's relating to both uh, love and career once you cut this out once that conversation is had and again not right now eventually once the retrogrades pass once that conversation is had there is a lot of happiness to be seen and a lot of love to be felt and experienced and a lot of transformation work through your fears don't be afraid of having that heart to heart with whoever it is that you need to have it with and work through your fears of perfectionism you are a perfectionist virgo but sometimes it's all right to not have all the answers sometimes it's all right to be in the dusk or in the dawn it might you might not be in day or night you might be in dusk and dawn i know that's very vague what i'm basically trying to say is if you're in the gray right now it that's all right because there is always a light at the end of the tunnel and there are lots of lights shining here for you all right i hope this reading helped you um have a wonderful rest of the month i will see you next time bye bye virgo